Hi everyone, Andrew here. Uh, welcome to the Runtime Terrain Gizmo plugin. Uh, this is a short introduction video in which I would like to show you how the how the Gizmo works. So basically, this is a plugin that works at runtime, so in game, in in play mode, or in the, inside a build, but it doesn't work inside a Unity editor. Um, so it's useful for people who like to build um, level editors, um, modding tools for games, and and, and stuff like that. All right, so uh, let me show you how the plugin works. If I click on an area of the terrain, if I left click, you can see that this, this gizmo appears. There is a red slider, a, a green cube, and then we also have a radius circle. And uh, we have these green ticks that you can use to increase the radius, like this. Yeah. Now if I uh, click and drag the red handle, I can uh, increase or decrease the terrain height. And notice that any objects that sit on the terrain, on the, on, the, on the terrain inside the radius, will also be affected. Yeah, so they will be pushed upwards or downwards, like this. There are no colliders needed for uh, for this operation. The the plugin will take care of identifying any objects uh, without the need for uh, any objects that need to be pushed upwards or downwards without the need for colliders. So you don't have to have colliders attached to those objects. All right, now. Um, let me just move this upwards here a little bit. Now, notice that when you do that, in some uh, in some cases, some of the objects uh, or parts of, of, of different objects might become, um, uh, they're, you know, you can see that they're just floating above the terrain like this. And uh, this is not necessarily a big deal, but uh, if you want to fix that, what you can do is um, you can um, hold up, so, uh, maybe just decrease the radius a little bit, uh, hold down the shift key and drag the slider in order to move the objects. Yeah, so when you hold down the shift key and you drag the slider, only the objects inside the radius will be, uh, will be affected. All right, great. Now uh, you can also undo, yeah, and redo. There you go, all right. Uh, now, something else that, uh, that you can do is you can also change object positions. So let me place this here, for example. And if I uh, click and drag the, on the, the so if I uh, hover the, the cube, the mid, I call this the mid cap, yeah, the green cube in the middle of the gizmo. If I left click and drag, what I can do is I can change the object positions like this. Yeah, so uh, it's really good for fine tuning. I want to make small changes to the objects. Uh, you can, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can do this. All right, great. And uh, something else that you can do uh, is if you hold down the C key, you can actually rotate the objects, yeah? And uh, only the objects whose positions lie inside the radius will be, uh, will be affected, yeah? So the plugin will check um, all the surrounding objects, will gather all the surrounding objects, and those objects whose positions fall inside the, uh, inside the circle uh, will, be, uh, will be affected, yeah? Uh, all right, now uh, let me go uh, someplace else. Let me go right here. You can also use snapping. If you hold down the control key, you can actually snap. Yeah, and this also works with the radius like this. You can define the snap increments. You can um, you can set them from the uh, from the API. Yeah, uh, you can change those settings as you as you see uh, fit. And uh, the last thing I want to talk about is elevation curves. Um, so basically, let me go to a nice clean area so you can more easily see what I'm talking about. Um, there are different types of elevation curves uh, and you can see here in the top left corner, basically here you have all the, um, all the hotkeys that, uh, that are available. And uh, you can see that the alphanumeric keys one through four allow you to select different elevation curves. Uh, and the elevation curve defines the way in which um, the um, you know the influence of the gizmo decreases as you know the further away uh, the terrain vertices get from the position of the gizmo. So um, this, for example, is a linear curve. Yeah, as the terrain vertices get further away from the center from the from the gizmo position, yeah, uh, less and less uh, the the gizmo. Um, offset will be uh, will contribute less and less to those to those vertices, right? Uh, now, uh, 
there's different types of curves that I've set up. This is the this is the default one that I've set up for uh, for this demo. Um, but of course, you can define your own curves inside the Unity editor in the inspector, and then you can use the API to adjust you know to set those uh, those curves as needed. For example, you might be if you're building a, a, a runtime uh, editor, level editor, or modding tool. Uh, you could have a user interface in which uh, you can, and with that interface, you can allow the user to pick different elevation curves, and uh, yeah, and, and and so on. So um, let's just play around with this just a little bit before we uh, wrap up. Yeah, so let's do something like this. There you go. There you go. All right. Now uh, you can, uh, of course, you can. There's no limit to how much, to how many objects you can uh, uh, you, you can uh, you can transform at once. Uh, of course, the bigger the radius, the uh, you know the the slower it will get. Yeah, if you have too many objects and too many terrain vertices, obviously there will be a slowdown. But um, my recommendation is keep keep the radius to a manageable size, something like this. Uh, so that you can easily spot situations where um, where objects, you know, maybe they may be they may start floating above the terrain and and stuff like that. Yeah. So keep keep the radius size uh, uh, manageable. And of course, if you're most likely you're you're going to use this plugin to build uh, a tool that will be uh, distributed to to your users. Uh, you might wanna you might wanna make sure that you you inform them about this. Yeah, so keep the keep the radius size uh, to a um, manageable uh, you know value. So something like this, maybe okay, maybe even bigger. Yeah. All right. Great. Let's move here. All right, there you go. So yeah, that's uh, that, that's pretty much it. All right. Um, so I hope you managed to use this uh, this plugin in your projects. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.